This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs once again and uh, back to Selenium Python series. So in this particular video, I'm going to talk about that uh, how to run your browser in headless mode for uh, Safari, I'm oh, sorry, for uh, Chrome and Firefox. It's pretty simple. We have to use uh, Chrome options as well as we have to use Firefox options, okay, for the respective browser. So what I'm going to do that I'm going to create a new file. Let's see headless browsers like that. And I'm going to copy paste uh, something from here. Let's see, I'm just going to copy from here to here. Okay. Now what you have to do if you really want to execute in headless mode, right? Okay. So what you have to do before launching your Google Chrome, you just do one thing that you use your web driver dot Chrome options and it will give you one options reference. So let's see options is equal to this, whatever the reference name you want to take it. And then what you have to do options dot headless is equal to true. You have to write it and the same options guys, you have to pass it over here. So either if you're using executable file or you're using a web driver manager, what you have to do, let's see, I'll show you one thing that web driver basics, if you are using it like this, and if you're using the executable path over here, right? So you have to pass comma options is equal to this. See, I'll show you. If you are using it like this, you simply write comma options is equal to what? That option name. Okay. If you're using the web driver manager, so you just need to write comma. Uh, options is equal to what is the value of options. So whatever the name that you have written options is equal to options. You have to use it like this. Now if you run it Amazon dot in and then you try to print the title over here. So let's see driver dot uh, driver dot title like that. Okay. Now let's run it. It should run in headless mode. Okay. Uh, something is missing options is equal to this. Okay, options is driver equal to uh, Chrome driver manager dot install comma options is equal to options and options head is equal to true. Chrome, oh, see this bracket is missing. Now let's run it again. <clears throat> now can you see that it's running in the headless mode? And after some time, it will give you the title of the page. See. And your rest of the script will exactly same. So if you let's see copy paste this entire stuff and you go to any site, let's say I'll go to web driver uh, basics that we covered first day, right? So let's say I'm going to write the same script. Uh, let's see with the, okay. Right now let's me write with respect to executable file path, right? So you just copy paste options equal to headless. And here you have to pass what kind of app options you are using. I simply say options is equal to options and then run it in your Chrome browser. Okay, remember this particular code. So right now I'm not going to show you with Chrome driver. I'm going to show you with the executable path and then you run it and let's see. See it's running in headless mode and we are printing all the values. Okay, from the suggestions in the Google search. It's printing all the values from the suggestions over there. Perfect. Same thing for Firefox. What do you have to do? Let's see for Firefox if you really want to use with web driver manager. So you simply write options is equal to options. Which option? You have to write options is equal to web driver dot Firefox options. Options dot headless equal to true and then run it over there. So what I'm going to do go back over here. Let's say I want to execute in. Okay in Firefox now. So for Firefox. What we have to do we have to write same thing. Let me comment it out these things. This is for Chrome. Now for Firefox again, I'll be writing let's see options is equal to web driver dot Firefox options and uh, here you have to write options dot headless is equal to true true is T capital guys in Python. Okay, and then here we have to write uh, uh, driver is equal to uh, web driver dot what we have to use Firefox. So driver dot Firefox and the bracket. If you really want to use executable path, so let's use it executable path is equal to with the okay, let's use it with the Geeko driver. Okay, so I'll be using Geeko driver manager. 
So here we have to import Geeko driver manager also. So I simply write web driver manager dot Firefox import. Okay. Um, sorry, Geeko driver manager. And I simply write Geeko driver manager dot install. And then the bracket, you have to write options is equal to whatever the option that you have created. The same options you have to pass it over here. And then after that, I'm going to same thing. Wait for implicitly wait and for 10 seconds and then get the title for Amazon.in, but with Firefox. Now you will see that uh, I think something is missing. Dot install options is equal to this. Okay. Executable path is equal to Geeko driver manager. See the bracket is missing again. Now let's run it again. See, it's running in headless mode for Firefox. And after some time, it will give you the exact title over here. And if you run it with your bad driver basics, let's see this time I'm using browser name is equal to Firefox. And then if Firefox is equal to this, it means browser name equal to Firefox. Create Firefox options, headless is equal to true, and pass the same options over here, and then you run it over here like that, okay? So let's see it is working or not. See, it's not running, it's running in headless mode, it's not running in the, okay, with the browser mode, and see it's printing all the suggestions over here like that. So your script will exactly remain same. The only thing is that you have to add Chrome options with headless equal to true, Firefox options, headless equal to true like that let me check with safari uh let me check with safari that web driver dot do we have safari options no it's not like that so for safari i'll tell you later okay let me check do they have any internet options so ie options are available yeah you can use this ie options for internet explorer and then the same thing you can use with headless also with ie okay but here we are not going to use ie right now Okay guys, so this is about the headless mode for Firefox and Google Chrome. Pretty simple, very straightforward. There is no rocket science. So remember this thing, Chrome options, Firefox options is responsible for that. Make sure headless equal to true. And when you make it, please write options equal to option like that. In fact, if you really want to let me run it again in Chrome, let me check uh, once again, uncomment this guy and let me check other options are available or not. So let's see options dot. Uh, okay, it's headless equal to true is there, but later on I'll tell you how to run in some other mode. Let's see incognito mode, or if you really want to add some other options as an argument, that also you can do that. Okay, see as an argument you can do that. Add argument and which argument you want to add. So I want to add let's see uh, incognito. Okay, incognito and headless is equal to let's see I'm writing false. So let's see it is working or not. I never tried, but let's see. So Chrome is getting running and see it's getting executed and then you can see incognito mode. So likewise, you can simple add the argument. You can add the argument with headless also like that directly. So let me write, let's see headless is equal to this and let me comment it out this guy. Now it should run. Let's see it's running in headless or not. See, yeah, it's still running in headless. So there are two choices. Either you write dot headless equal to false or you add as an argument hyphen hyphen headless. The same exact thing you will do it in Java also. Okay, and the rest of the script will remain same. Okay guys, so likewise also you can simply do that. So let me, yeah, so with this thing we have covered incognito also. If you really want to use incognito, you can use it like that. Or if any other argument you want to add, you have to add with Chrome options like that. Tomorrow you want to add, let's see, or you want to block the pop-up or you want to add some other argument like, uh, where exactly you want to download the files and all those things or any proxy settings if you want to maintain any kind of argument you want to add you can simple add it over here like that okay so that's all for this particular video thank you so much for watching guys and uh, i'll be seeing you in the next video thank you